Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis. I hope that you are doing very well and we are going to be going through the current range bound market on Bitcoin and the psychological warfare that goes on within this market. It's nothing short of I absolutely enjoy it. What can we say? Uh, so we want to be talking about that psychological warfare. We want to be talking about the range bound levels that we could be trading today on Bitcoin chart. And I also need to start off with saying I hope that you are doing very well. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, obviously today, Easter Sunday, Easter Sunday, a day of celebrations for many around the world, whether you celebrate it or not, I do hope that you have an absolutely wonderful day. Um, you know, obviously I would say it's a family orientated day. So, you know, I'm not going to be spending all day on my PC personally. But I did want to bring you a quick update this morning. I'm going to keep this short and sweet, hopefully around the 10 minute mark. I want to talk you through the levels, talk you through what you could be thinking of in terms of today's trades. And overall, I just hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. And uh, let's go. <laughs> so Bitcoin, 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 what can we say? The love of our life, Bitcoin. We've obviously uh, now for, for, for coming on nearly seven days, nearly seven days within this range. And obviously, we've been talking about these three key levels, three key levels as we remain range bound on the Bitcoin chart. Those three levels, ladies and gentlemen, what can we say? They really have dictated this market from the from the minute that we've originally got these levels, which was literally six days ago. Uh, you saw me on the 30th of March, you know, go back to the YouTube video that was released, 30th of March, uh, predicting these three levels in advance. We obviously uh, originally had that short position. And we had our key, first key support, which was 58,400 level given in advance before it was even hit. We obviously hit that one to the absolute dollar before we came back up to take our highs across our major exchanges for the what we're going to call the ultimate bull trap. Uh, that was obviously coming up to our key resistance. And then finally, after our first short, first support bounce, second short, we obviously came down to around that 56,800 support region, uh, which was our third level, given that was given to the members in advance. So these three levels that we have seen reactions from, so that, you know, <laughs> these three levels, which have absolutely dictated the market, were all given in advance. That's the power of doing your technical analysis and working out these regions where you can expect to see really <laughs> Man, I can't speak today. I swear I'm not drunk. <laughs> I just cannot speak. Uh, <laughs> anyway, moving on. That's enough about that. Uh, so what do we have going on here right now, then, ladies and gentlemen? Well, clearly, we have come down to our bottom region of support. Currently, we can see that, that you know, the exact bottom here coming in at around $56,500. So you might think to yourself, what do we have going on here? You know, is this a good time to long? Is this a good time to short? OK, what, what, what's really, you know, what did I mention about the psychological warfare? Well, the psychological warfare is, is a phenomenon. <laughs> Phen oh, I, I need to give up. <laughs> I swear I'm not going to redo this video, though, because, yeah, I've got stuff to do today. I can't do, I cannot remake this. I'm just going to have to keep going. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the, <laughs> I apologize. The psychological warfare. I and mean, what do I mean by this? Well, this is the, this is the uh, phenom phen phenomenon. Man, this is the thing. I cannot. I I suck with English, man. I suck with English. Necesito hacer ese video en español. Bueno, eso es. This is obviously when we come up to the highs. What what's what what keeps happening? Well, each time we visited this high, this high, you know, each time we visited our key resistance, you see how the market each time was flipping bullish. So people flip very bullish at the highs each time. You know, it's quite funny now. And what do we say inside of Chart Champions? When we reach our key resistances, we look for shorts. And this is against what the average person is doing, because each time we've visited these highs, the market is flipping very bullish. And now what's you know the opposite of that? When we had this really, really quick move to the downside, you saw how you, myself personally and many others were getting their long positions at the lows. Obviously, if you remember correctly, where we hit that CC to the absolute dollar, if we put on our magnet tool here, that was, that was a special one, yeah? You see, you hit the CC to the absolute dollar. But basically what I want to emphasize here is, and also if you think back to the live stream on on, on Friday, yeah, Friday on, we were doing a live stream and I obviously had my short position from the, the top of our key resistance. And you saw us come down during that live stream where I, short, where I <laughs> flipped into a long position as we took our lows. So we were short in the resistance and literally during that live stream, we were longing those lows. Well, in the end, have a guess what happened. We made our way back up to our key resistance level. OK, so it's just it's just a matter of understanding what's going on here in terms of look for longs at support, look for shorts up at resistance. And then obviously we've had, well, yesterday was Good Friday. 
personally wasn't really trading it but um i mean at the end of the day you had you're short from the key resistance you've made your way down through your midpoint and overall back to the low of the range but if you have the high of the range up here and the low of the range here you know what 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 position do you look for at the low of the range do you think you look for shorts at support or do you think you look for longs at support and when you're at resistance do you think you look for longs at resistance or do you look for shorts at resistance you know, you know I, I hope I don't have to actually tell you what you should be doing there. But, um, you know, it's, it's kind of just like the, the market is pretty funny in that regards where you, you come up to resistance, but because you're moving up, everybody's really bullish. And then you have a big move down to, you know, your biggest th of the three supports. And now everybody's flipping really bearish at support. You, you really couldn't make it up. Um, <laughs> you know, this is the psychological warfare. You know, you get these big moves, you get these quick moves. And the only people that are not short in here and not long in here, for example, or even not short in here and long in here, you know, are the people that aren't planned for these scenarios, are the people that are, are even not planned, the people that don't even know what the levels are, or just simply gambling. You know, I feel, feel you've, if you have written out your levels and you have written out a plan, there should be in no world where you're looking for longs here. And there should be no world where you're looking for shorts here. That, that's just really simply how you, you can consistently make money trading by actually trading a range. As you know, I personally love, I absolutely love ranges because I, I recognize range bound trading, I feel is very easy and simple, but the majority of the market get bored. The majority of the market just don't enjoy it. I personally love it. I'm not going to lie. Personally love it. But anyway, moving on here. So so what do we have in terms of a trade right now? Well, we could we could argue, arguably say that there's a short, I suppose. And this is this is the this is one thing that I want to briefly touch on. How long? 6 minutes. I'm going to try and go through this as quick as possible. Let's imagine you think Bitcoin's and I'm not saying this is my perspective. I'm just saying this uh to give you a thought-provoking thought, I suppose. <laughs> Let's say you think Bitcoin's going to $50,000. Um you know, and you're in no short right now and you're in no position. Maybe you're just holding spot Bitcoin. Maybe you're in a long, I don't know. Let's just say that you think Bitcoin's going to 50,000, not based off of a YouTube video, not based off of what you've read in the news, but based off of your own technical analysis plan. Well, if that's the case and you're in no trade right now, you can see how, if you feel we're heading much lower, that you might be in, you know, you, you are very much likely to be easily, more easily enticed into that short position. And what could be the most enticing short right now? Well, you, one could argue, well, I guess you, you, you the best one would obviously be coming back up to your key level uh, of the middle of the range or ultimately back up to the highs and, and get a bigger range going on. But you can see how you could have to be enticed into this short a lot quicker than most other people if you're in no position and you think we're going lower. Well, here you have support, support, back into resistance. So you have these sort of SR flips. As you saw during Friday's live stream, we had an SR flip for our first take profit. The same here. If you got a long off the bottom of the range, well, this is a sensible place to take profits. Your first SR level, you can't go wrong taking profits here. So I feel you have a mixture of reasons why you're getting a bit of, you know, what can we say, a bit of friction here, I suppose, of people, you know, I don't feel it's the best short in the world, but I do understand why people would short it, you know. I understand the technicals behind that. So people are going to be taking shorts here. And also you've got people taking profits on longs. And this is why we can grind a little bit here before we ultimately break through the supply. Or we come back down maybe towards, you know, our local CC, I suppose. That's going to be coming in at around 57K. Uh, what can we see right now? I suppose we have almost, you know, it's not picture perfect, but we have a little bit, I suppose, of an ascending triangle going on in here. So we have a bit of an ascending triangle, almost which we could see if this breaks to the upside. If we head back towards 58,400, I suppose if we break down from this, we're going to be looking back towards 57K locally. Very much a day trader's perspective, that is. Um, you know, your day trader's perspective find these little patterns, trade the breaks, look at the volume, look at the, um, you know, the order flow as it's coming in there. Your swing traders, well, I suppose swing traders have a range to trade. Okay, obviously, if we break the low of this range, you know, this is the thing. Don't hold on to this bias thinking Bitcoin has to go up. It has to go up. It has to go up. You know, you got to react. you got to trade the charts. And I would always say if we break the low of the range, you look, you, 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 you look down to your next support levels. Okay, the same as if we, if we had of breaking the high of this range, we knew the levels to the upside. You know, you, we know we got like around 61K as your next major resistance. So it's like, it is essentially, like I've always said, trade the range until it breaks. And until that is the case, you look for shorts up here and you look for longs down here. Okay. If you break the low of your range, then naturally you are looking for lower, you know, you're looking for lower levels. Okay. And if you break the higher the range, naturally you are looking for higher levels. 
Okay, it's, it's not like a groundbreaking, <laughs> it's not a groundbreaking thing. It is literally just a case of marking out the levels, making a plan. Do you get, you know, you can kind of see here how you get rejections almost at the high of, high of the overall high of the range. You see, uh, you know, spending time around the midpoint before ultimately the midpoint is lost. We move down to the lows. And then we spend a bit of time at the lows before ultimately making your way back up. So you can kind of wait to see, you know, when we hit these levels, are you forming divergences? What's the delta like? And what's the volume like? You know, you can start to look at these things as you're hitting those levels. Um, sorry, I've got, been going on 10 minutes. It's already too long. I will end with this because I wanted to end with this. A lot of people, which I originally gave these three levels uh, while we were here. And you all saw the short that I was entering at that time. And I literally called 58,400, which hit to the absolute dollar. We then had that next key level of resistance above us where we got the ultimate bull trap. And then I also gave the level uh, 56,800 to all of my team in the contenders and champions down here. So we called this level, this level and this level all in advance before any of these levels had been hit. And you can see how into the future we have seen so many brilliant trades off of these levels. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to end with this, give you a thought-provoking thing. Um, how do I get these levels? How did I come up with these key support and resistances? Okay, well, the best way, the best way to predict future levels are to create reactions at them yourself. That's what you've got to do, ladies and gentlemen. If we're, if we're calling levels, yeah, let's create the reactions at them and make sure they work. <laughs> what can we say? You know, the funny thing was that that was the first time I'd ever done a video in the style that I had of literally calling the calling the calling the trade uh, for the public YouTube. So we had to we had to get that one to the dollar. Yeah, we had to get that one to the dollar. But just remember that the best way to create <laughs> can't even read the best way to predict future levels for Bitcoin are to create reactions at those levels yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope those levels that I have been giving you over the past week have been really helpful to you. hope that I've taught you through, you know, today a little bit more emphasis on the range, why we change, trade the range, why we look for longs at support, why we look for shorts at resistances. The midpoint, obviously, you can look for longs and shorts. It's literally the middle of the range. Uh, why one could be more aggressive on this initial SR flip. Uh, the ascending triangle that we have going on right now. I feel if we break to the top of this, we can look back up towards 58,400. If we break down, we're looking towards 57K. Obviously, we if we break our low of the support range, we're going to be looking down towards much lower levels. If we break the higher range, we're looking to put towards uh, $61,000. Uh, in the next video that I do, I will talk you through the bigger levels of resistance, which I feel, feel I've already done. I suppose my next video that I do uh, for the public will be looking through the next layers of support below our key level here. Oh, I've got to stress, obviously, this video, no edu no uh, financial advice, no legal advice, etc., etc. Educational entertainment video only. Make sure you understand that disclaimer. And yeah, I really hope this video has been beneficial. If you'd like to see more, I do have a live stream tonight, where in tonight's video, hey, obviously I am going to go into a lot more detail because we've got, we got an hour long live stream where I'm going to be going through my Bitcoin trading plan, go through the levels to the upside, go through the levels to the downside and the exact trade that I'm going to be taking. So um, if that's of interest to you, that's what I'm going to go through in tonight's Champions live stream, chartchampions.com. Uh, for everybody else, I'll be giving you some of the next key levels, I suppose, probably now uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm uh, yeah, probably not going to be uh, over the next few days. So for the public, I'll catch you all soon. For the champions, I'll catch you tonight in the live stream. And I hope that these levels, the ascending triangle can assist you to make an informed trading decision. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant day. Celebrate in the sun. Celebrate with your family, your friends. And thank you, everybody, so much. And goodbye. Cheers.